All right, for problem number 16, um, I would try a u substitution, but looking at this, there's no way, I can't let u equal x, um, because the derivative of x is one, and that doesn't help me with the numerator. And if I let the numerator be u, so x squared plus one, and I take the derivative of that, I do get two x, but the problem is I don't get over x, I don't get one over x, so u substitution isn't gonna work. So the only thing I can do with this one is to do a long division process. Um, just to rewrite, so this would be x squared, leaves me with one, um, subtracting that from both sides. So since x doesn't go into one, this integral really becomes the integral from one to e of x plus one over x dx. And then I can take the antiderivative. So I'm just gonna go up a degree, oops, divide by that degree, plus the natural log of the absolute value of x, evaluated from one to e. So we would get e squared over two, plus the natural log of the absolute value of e, minus one squared over two, plus the natural log of the absolute value of one, and the natural log of e, that's one of the properties that we talked about the other day, so that would just be one. So we get e squared over two plus one minus one half plus zero, because the natural log of one is zero. And so we get e squared over two plus one minus a half, which would be e squared over two plus a half, since those have common denominators, we're just going to rewrite this as e squared plus 1 over 2.